This woman knows what's going on. She's a confident lady. She's powerful. She's smart. Hey guys, it's Sophia Richie Grange, and I am playing Would You Wear It Now? Okay, so this is interesting. I must have been 13 or 14 at the time, um, and everyone in my class was having their bat mitzvahs and bar mitzvahs, and I think this was like the nicest dress I owned at the time, and I would wear this to everyone's parties, so I guess it felt right to wear it to Teen Vogue. I don't know. And these were nasty gal. Oh my God, nasty gal shoes. I remember I had them in every color. You know what, I kind of see what I was going for, but I miss the mark, but I see what I was, I think I could recreate it in a better way. No, I wouldn't wear this again. No, to answer your question, I would not. I would not wear it again. Okay, I remember this. This was Paris Fashion Week. I think I was 16 years old. Um, it was like when I was getting invited, like the first time I was getting invited to like, major shows, I forget what show this was, but I would wear a different version of this. I feel like I look cute. The black hair was a no, um, but the outfit I could recreate in a better way. You know what, my perception of Fashion Week has changed so much over the years. It used to be about like going and getting my photo taken, but now I'm really fascinated in the actual clothes that walk down the runway. You guys are really being nice to me. There's some pretty bad ones out there and you guys didn't go all the way bad. So thank you. Um, this was New York Fashion Week. Um, I forget what show it was, but I could have used some tailoring, or maybe a different size, or maybe just a different pairing. But you know, it's not that bad. I think, I think I could redo it. I think I could redo it. Gosh, this one isn't bad either. <laughs> When you guys said we were doing this video, I was like, I am screwed. This is not bad. Again, New York Fashion Week. Um, I must have been like 17 or 18 years old. Um, I personally love a trench coat, so I feel like I would wear this again. Maybe a different top and maybe tailor the pants and tailor everything, but I don't hate it. It's not horrible. Okay, this outfit I actually wouldn't do again. Um, it's just like, you can do better, girl. Like, I don't know what you were thinking, you could do better. But I do love you and you just didn't do it right. It's all wrong. The pants, no. The top, mm-mm. And the shoes are just bad. Bad news, gal. Ugh, ugh. This was recent, so I feel like I'm like a little biased to this one, but, and I'm with my sister who is my best friend. Um, but I love this look. I would wear this look Monday through Sunday if I could. Um, we're both in Chanel. Um, we were both comfortable. We felt good. And that's all that matters. Nicole and I were in Paris, actually for my final wedding dress fitting, or my second to last wedding dress fitting. Um, and while we were there, uh, they actually had a, a runway show. So we were like, wow, this is, we went to Paris for two days. Uh, we landed, we woke up the next morning, we did the show, and then the next day we did my fitting and then we flew home that night. So it was like a whirlwind. I actually, we, we like didn't sleep for three days. We were like jet lagged and not okay, but this was like the greatest sister trip of my life. We had the best time um, and like the greatest memory. Ever. Oof, I love this look too. Okay, this is at the Elton John uh, fundraiser event. Um, a snack. So this is a Tom Ford dress. This is a vintage um, little pouch bag that we found that was like a hundred bucks. Good find. My new thing is just timeless. I'm trying to just do things that I feel like I'll look back on in 20 years and be like, that was chic, that was cute. Ugh. Oh. This Chanel custom couture dress. This dress, I feel like was, we didn't really show that many photos of this night. We didn't really show anything of this night, but this was one of my favorite dresses that I actually wore. The attention to detail, the beading, it was such an immaculately made dress. I'm like honored that 
they were willing to make it for me. I also wore it in my wedding, so I'm also biased, so I love it. Okay, this Proenza dress is potentially my favorite dress that I own. It is comfortable and easy, and I feel like that is my summer motto. Um, all I wanna be this summer is comfortable and chic. So that is this dress. It is like, I can move, I can dance, um, I can do all the things, and it's cute. So I think the wedding look that got the most attention was my short little white Proenza dress. I actually found out that that was a, uh, a shirt. It wasn't a dress, but ferry me to accidentally wear it as a dress and for it to work. The last one. Okay, so I recently wore this to the Chanel show. I loved this outfit. That's why I wore it recently. I don't know if I would have done the shoes again, to be honest with you. I actually love this whole outfit with the shoes, but the only reason why I was like very on edge the entire night was because Elliot and I had to get legally married in the US before we could get married technically out of the country. Um, so we had like a small little ceremony at our house with our friends and family, and I wore these shoes. So I like, in my head, I was like, these are my wedding shoes. So I wore them out and like, anytime anyone would spill anything, I was like, shoes like my daughter is gonna inherit these shoes but I love this outfit I felt fun I felt a little bit out of my element which is what I wanted to do with it being like resort and a Los Angeles based show so I had a good time with it my favorite my favorite my favorite nope not you you can take these I'm gonna process of elimination over here I'm gonna say that this one was my favorite I feel like she will never fail. This woman knows what's going on. She's a confident lady. She's powerful. She's smart. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can just give myself 900 compliments in this dress. It's all the dress, it's not me. Um, but yeah, this is the winner. All right, so I just had the best time. Uh, I really appreciate them not ripping me to shreds because that was definitely a possibility. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys what you thought was tragic or what you thought was amazing.